And all right, sports is back in the mix. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Hey, it's rivalry week in the old Pueblo, and that goes beyond football. Coach Adia Barnes and the sixth-ranked Arizona women's basketball team matched up against ASU in a late afternoon showdown at McHale Center. And let's pick things up in the first quarter, and that is when Arian McDonald would heat up straight. Caliente. The Cats lead early after the bucket, and then off of the fast break, and Aaron McDonald will be going coast to coast. And not to be outdone, how about Aaron McDonald canning the three-pointer? She scored eight points in the first quarter alone. ASU tried to hang tough. Check this upcoming shot up. A bank shot from three. Sup, 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 oh. Hey, luck or not, the bank shot counts. Even Caitlin Jennings looked surprised. That had cut the lead to 15 to nine, but Arizona would jump ahead 34-18 at the half and cruise to the easy double-digit victory. They stay unbeaten. We'll hear from the Cats tonight at 10. All right, back to the battle for bragging rights in the crazy AZ. The Wildcats are hoping to avoid losing for the fourth year in a row to heated and hated nemesis ASU. Kickoff this Friday is set for 5 p.m. Both teams are winless this season in a year that's seen both squads lose out on games because of coronavirus concerns. Will Arizona be able to hold the Territorial Cup high by the time everything's said and done? We'll know tomorrow night. Arizona State is the early favorite, but throughout the records in this rivalry, the duel in the desert hits home even more for the handful of players on the Arizona roster who are from the Phoenix area. That includes Rourke Freeberg, who in a sense, come Friday, truly has a family divided. It means a lot. You know, that's my hometown. Uh, believe it or not, I actually, I grew up a Sun Devil household. My mom went there. Um, and then, you know, coming out of high school, I decided to come here. I thought like this was a better fit for me academically and athletically. Um, but this game means a lot. You know, I, I look forward to this game every year, and especially now that I'm, I have a you know, critical role on defense and I can you know, make some plays to help have an impact on this game. Um, I'm, I'm greatly looking forward to it. This is the game that I, I circle every year. Hey, so do we in the old Pueblo. All right, moving on while a number of bowl games are canceling this season because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Arizona Bowl continues to stay afloat and now History will be made. For the first time, the New Year's Eve game will be televised live on national non-cable TV. That's right, CBS will air the game, ensuring tens of millions of viewers will have their eyes on the old Pueblo on December 31st. Traditionally, CBS has broadcast the Sun Bowl in El Paso, but it was canceled, so one border region's loss is another game. Tucson will now get the 12 noon kickoff slot on New Year's Eve. The Arizona Bowl matches up a Mountain West team against a team from the MAC championship game. Now because of COVID-19 protocols, the game will not allow fans in the stands here in Tucson. Still bringing in the tens and millions of viewers on network TV will definitely help a bowl game that also raises millions of dollars every year for local charities. You know, five years ago when we kicked this game off, we were on um, a digital streaming service, and here we are just a few years later on the Tiffany Network, on CBS, at a noon slot on New Year's Eve. I mean, this is better than what we could have dreamed of, so we're so excited. We're so excited to shine this national spotlight on Southern Arizona. We love showing off this community, and we get to do that on New Year's Eve again this year. That's right, the Arizona Bowl doesn't have a title sponsor at this time, so it's just the Arizona Bowl, but that could change soon now that the game will be on a traditional network. We'll keep you updated. We've got you covered. I'm Paul C. Kala. Back to you guys.